All right, so you're buying a house with solar panels already installed. That's awesome. Here's how I would approach it as someone who has nine and a half kilowatts of solar and two power walls. Here's how I would approach it. First, you have to know if the system is paid off or not, right? Or if they have a lease on the system. How I would approach this is if they have a lease on the system, it's their responsibility to get the lease paid off in order for you to just complete this transaction. Like as a homeowner, I want to own the solar on my house and be an energy producer. So however it takes to just get the lease done with or the renting done with or the power purchase agreement done with any of that stuff, get all of that done whether that's you paying for it or the seller paying for it, ideally the seller paying for it, but all of that's done. And then you just have a mortgage on a house that has solar panels, boom, and now you're an energy producer. So congratulations, now you're an energy producer. That's awesome. So now next thing you need to know is, I don't really care about the brand of the panels. I care about what is the size of the system and who is the installer. What's the size of the system and who is the installer? That's what I care about. The reason why I care who the installer was um, is more so just so you can get into your analytics screen. Yes, if you have like issues and it's still under warranty, yes, then you can go back up the installer route, but I'm going with just best case scenario, there's nothing wrong with the system. The installer isn't really in your life anymore. What is in your life is the software used to access the system, okay? so. If it was like a third party kind of deal, then you most likely access the stats through an app that the inverter has. If it was through, you know, Sunrun, then you see it through the Sunrun dashboard. If, the, if it was through Tesla, then you see it through the Tesla dashboard. You wanna know where to access your stats because then what you're gonna do is as you're getting into the home and or you're gonna, if you're already in the home, then you just need to know what's kind of your monthly production and how much does your house use monthly so you know what your surplus number is or you know how much you're underproducing. That's a thing. Or if before you're going into the transaction, then ask them to show you what are the monthly production numbers and show them how much electricity the house uses as well. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because then what you wanna do as an energy producer is you want to know you want to overproduce every single, all of that you need for your house. And then you want to have a plan for monetizing that surplus. Or if you're still underproducing, then you want to run the numbers on what it would take to, because it's already a sunk cost of having the small system on your house, you want to then run the numbers on adding a second system to get to that full capacity, full capacity. So let's assume that now you're at full capacity. Here's what I would suggest, and kind of on the software, the software front as well, adding a Tesla Powerwall. Adding a Tesla Powerwall gets you two things. It gets you the battery backup for, it gets you multiple things. It gets you the battery backup for emergencies, but even more than that, even more than like grid down scenarios or the power going out scenarios, it helps you do time of use arbitrage. And so where I live from four to 9 p.m. is where electricity is the most expensive from the grid. And so we run off our battery exclusively from four to 9 p.m. And we buy the energy back to fill the battery either from solar where we don't have to buy it or from the grid at the cheaper times. So even on top, it's just a way that you can profit and save money and be more efficient with their energy on top of the solar itself. But it's double bang for your buck because the app and the analytics is awesome. And so what I would do if I was buying a house that was a third party install or a Sunrun install and it didn't have a battery, the Tesla app, the, all the solar stats it shows you is worth it to have all the benefits of having a battery plus the day-to-day -day benefits of just being able to read your system better. So that's what I would do. That's how I would approach kind of some of the things swirling around your head, buying a house that already has solar panels on it. I would figure out how big the system is. I would figure out what the software is to access the system. And I would start researching home batteries. If you like this and want other stuff about, you know, how to make your home more efficient, go ahead and click on these next videos.